I thought the Suns did a great job of uh, being aggressive for 48 minutes. Uh, they clearly uh, played uh, very competitively for the 48, as is evidenced by the 26 or so points they got, the second chance points. And we exacerbated that with 20 points off, tar off our turnovers. So that was really the game. Uh, you don't want to come down to the end of the game and have to make a shot uh, to win it. Uh, you're going to win games earlier than that, but I thought that's that's what won the game for them. The second chance points and the points off our turnovers. Uh, they did a great job. Pues sí, eh, creo que el trabajo que ha hecho el equipo ha sido excelente durante los 48 minutos de una lucha intensa en donde realmente estuvieron jugando muy competitivamente, unos 26 puntos que se obtuvieron en el changeover y eh, unos 20 durante el turnover. Finalmente sabemos que la diferencia puede ser por un tiro y el, equipo, el juego se acaba hasta que se acaba, pero creo que tuvieron un desempeño sobresaliente. Questions, please. Preguntas, por favor. Coach, uh, what do you think about the Mexican audience? They really... Uh, uh, I think they enjoyed the show. Uh, they were loud, they were active. And I think it was, it was split pretty good between Suns fans and Spurs fans. And uh, uh, that's always a great environment to play in. So uh, the fans deserve a lot of credit for uh, coming out and enjoying NBA basketball. Uh, I hope they got what they thought they were going to get. Creo que la afición ha disfrutado de lo que ellos esperaban, del espectáculo de la NBA. La pregunta es sobre qué opinión tiene el coach sobre la afición mexicana. Creo que el público disfrutó el partido, tanto los aficionados de los Suns como los aficionados de los Spurs, y creo que el ambiente fue maravilloso. Eh, Andrea Sola, de Un Dos Más. Eh, las expectativas son muy grandes para que ustedes lleguen a las finales. ¿Con qué confianza se siente usted eh, con estos pues con estas opiniones generales. Overall, there is an opinion that you will make it to the finals. What do you think about it? She's Andrea Sola with Uno Mas Medium. Uh, I have no idea who's going to make it to the finals. Uh, the odds on bet right now is uh, Golden State. Uh, that's just common sense. Uh, we've got work to do if we want to be that team. But with any championship we've had, I, I've never known ahead of time that we were going to be in the finals. Uh, you just take what comes, do the best job you can, try to be ready come April and uh, get after it. Pues sí, yo creo que es difícil realmente, no tengo ni idea si podremos llegar a las finales, la moneda está en el aire, finalmente uno tiene que trabajar lo más que se puede, pero es difícil anticipar antes de tiempo que quién va a ser el ganador y simplemente pues hay que hacer el mejor trabajo, ya llegar a abril. On the left side, please. Coach, buenas noches. Yes. Eh, año tras año, los Spurs de San Antonio son contendientes al campeonato. ¿Cuál es la clave uh, coach, what is uh, the key? Because we see year after year the Spurs uh, are very close to, uh, to make it to the championship. What's your key? How can you manage that? How do you do it? <laughs> that's, that's a big question. I don't think I, I can answer that. Uh, if, if I did have five or six keys, I probably should keep them to myself. La verdad es que si supiera, si tuviera la clave, pues no se los iba a compartir. No, no sé, no tengo una respuesta para esa pregunta. Okay, last question here on the right. Coach, uh, what do you think about the Manu Ginobili? What do I think about Manu Ginobili? <laughs> I think he's a Hall of Fame basketball player. Uh, he's been a beautiful person and a wonderful player. Creo que es eh, Nobili, ¿qué pienso de eh, manejarlo, coacharlo? Creo que es eh, una persona excelente y pues sí, eh, ya va para el Salón de la Fama. Thank you, Thank you Coach. You.